production right here is Anthony. Joanna. Today we're bringing you guys a brand new video. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe to our channel right now. Stop what you're doing, stop eating. I know you're watching this video in bed or something. But yeah, just make sure you like it first and then subscribe if you're new. Uh, but today's video we're going to be doing a, um, a mukbang. I think it's called mukbang. Mukbang, mukbang. One of those two. I know it's called one of those two, but you guys get the point. Well, uh, as you can see, we went to Chipotle. I got me a bowl, she got a bowl. Um, a taco. I got a taco, cause I actually never tried the tacos, so I just like, you know, I'm gonna try it. Got some chips, some guac. And, uh, yeah, so basically, we're gonna be just eating, uh, talking about like anything, just random topics throughout the video. So, hope, we hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, but yeah, we're thinking about going to, uh, well, she was thinking about going to Chick-fil-A at first, huh? Yeah. But then she said, nah, she didn't want to because I don't like Chick-fil-A. <laughs> mm -hmm. Crazy, huh? And that sounds really That's one of, like, my favorite foods. Yeah. But I go only because of her. It's not that I don't like it. Like, I think it's pretty good. It's just that it's, like, a little bit of options to choose from, you know? It's either, like, a grilled uh, cheese. No, I think it's grilled chicken sandwich. Or, like, the fried one. And then you got, like, chicken nuggets and stuff like that inside it. But I feel like every time I go there, I don't get full. That's the reason why I don't like going there because I don't get full. Because mm -hmm. usually when we hang out and we're hungry and we go eat, I'm starving. So when I eat Chick Fil A, I like the heck, like I'm still hungry. Yeah. And then the chicken nuggets are like this small. Oh, no. They are. <laughs> how small? They're like this. That's not how little they are. Okay, smaller. No, like this. Alright, nah. That's how I order those. No, she ordered them, and I'm thinking they're gonna be like you know regular size chicken nuggets, and they're small. But I get an 18 centimeter from school. Yeah, because you don't eat. I do eat. <laughs> but yeah, that's the reason why I don't like Chick-fil-A. I know people are like, damn, you crazy, you know, Chick-fil-A's mom. Like, it's good, don't get me wrong, the taste is good and everything. I get the chicken sandwich, the spicy one. But it just doesn't get me full, you know? I feel like I'm, like, it's is too healthy. <laughs> is that one good? I've never tasted yeah, it. Yeah, it's good. I'm never going to try it. And then the waffle fries they got is like five fries and that's it. No. It is. No. It's like five fries. You're just hating on Chick fil A. Chick fil A is bomb. But yeah, so, anyways, that's the reason why I. Not, not that I don't like it, I just prefer not to go there. And then we also thought about In and Out. But it was too far and it's yeah. been raining. It's raining since so like. By the time we get here, it's gonna, our food's gonna be cold. I think Loki, that's my, probably like my best, my favorite. Hamburger spot. Either In and Out or uh, the Have It On. Mm -hmm. I prefer that than Chick fil A. I actually prefer Five Guys over Chick fil A. That's just bomb. Five Guys is good. Five they Guys just don't have ranch. Yeah, they don't have ranch, but the burgers are big. Mm -hmm. You can add whatever you want. It's expensive, but that's the only thing. But... And then, um, we know Chick fil A. I mean, uh, we know Chipotle. It's kind of like Americanized. Like, you know, Mexican food, I guess you would say. But like one of my favorite Mexican spots, since we're both from LA, you can talk about mm -hmm. bomb. Oh yeah, guys, you guys should try this out, like, for real. Like, shout out to one of my friends, but cheese, they call him cheese. He told me to get this burrito from King Taco, so you guys from LA, whatever, and you guys have gone to King Taco, you guys should try this out. Tigers, like, let us know what you guys think. So you get a burrito that's all, just only the meat, only the meat. Yeah, you can add like cilantro and onions if you like it. And just ask for nacho cheese in the burrito. Tell you, bomb. At first I was like, what the hell? And then I tried it. That's all I get now. It sounds weird. But it's bomb. Mm -hmm. Just try that. I mean, go to King Taco. Like, there you, I think people ask, have asked it for it before because at first I was like, it's kind of weird asking for it. Mm -hmm. But then now they do it. But it's bomb. So you guys, I recommend it. You guys should try it out. I remember I, I told no, he told a couple of friends he got all into eating that, that burrito like that. So you guys can try that out. Bomb and tiger. And let us know what you guys think. And try out the rest of the rest of the bomb like that. You guys, you guys should help us out. Share our YouTube channel. We're trying to get to 400. Like really bad. We'll probably do a giveaway once we reach 500 subscribers. But it's going to be a good giveaway. We can't say anything yet. So we get to like probably like 400. We gotta let you guys know what it is, but just keep sharing. 
uh, liking our videos. We're gonna try it like lately, with, like this whole month, we're consistent now every week and posting. So we're gonna try to keep doing videos uh, every week, at least once a week. If we do twice a week, then better for us, you know, and for you guys. But help us out. Let us know also in the comments what you guys want to see. You guys want to see more videos like this, challenges, or videos with my like my mom, my brother to come out. Let us know. Uh, just anything, any ideas, just let us know. We will do it for you guys. We're just trying to uh, grow, you know. So as we're getting, we seen like because we're um, just on Twitter and stuff. We seen you know that the, the stuff is going on right now between like, Chloe and uh, Tristan. Comment down what you guys think about that, whether Chloe should give, give him another chance. Hell no. <laughs> I think she should be done. <laughs> you think she, she, like she still be friends with that girl? What's her name? Jordan. Jordan, yeah. What do you mean what from what? You said it's just kiss him. From what I've heard, supposedly, she didn't mean to kiss him. Did, she, did he kiss her? He kissed her on her way out, but that she did sleep over, which is why a lot of people like, thought that you know like they did something and stuff because I mean if you sleep over someone's house drunk and everything like what else do you expect you know mm -hmm. but yeah but then everyone was bashing Chloe because she kept saying that she's the reason why like they broke up but it's like no like um obviously it wasn't that I never knew it was my first time hearing oh really? yeah because I just like I always didn't heard about it like on Twitter, Instagram, but I never knew the whole story. Yeah, she tweeted that Jordan was the reason they that her family is broken up. That Chloe's family is broken up, but it's not true because I mean, Paul, Tristan already cheated. Yeah. What else did you expect? And she gave him another chance or no? Well, she was defending him at first, but now this was yesterday, and today she came out tweeting that. Something about how it's like her fault and like it's it's not Jordan's fault but she didn't expect it to be from someone who she calls her sister and stuff like that. So mm. who knows? But a lot of people are still saying that crazy. that Jordan has been like seeing um Tristan for like two months and stuff. Mm -hmm. And that what she said in her interview was not true. But Cause she, did you see how she came out with an interview? Mm -hmm. No? Oh my god, you need to catch up. I watched none of that. They tell me because with the Kardashians or anything, I don't have patience, none of that. Uh, it's, I feel like it's too much drama for me. Mm -hmm. Like I see it, obviously, because it's everywhere. I don't like reading it. <clears throat> right now, I'm upset. The Lakers. Suck ass. Shit it. They do. Like for the guys out there that watch our channel, and you guys are Lakers fans or just basketball fans, let me know what you guys think. Are they gonna make it to the playoffs? They got about 20 games left. They're currently in the 10th seed right now, behind in the Clippers and uh, Sacramento. But I think like the way they're playing, bad defense, the rotations are horrible because of Luke Walton. Like I don't know what's going on. Maybe we don't have Lonzo back. He's out for another week. They're gonna reevaluate him. He still hurt. He still hurt. So it's like more than I think he's missed as much as LeBron did. You know they built his young core. We suffered all these years drafting, tanking, drafting for what? You know all of the all that talent they got. And nothing they let go. Daniel Russell. He's balling now. He's an All Star. Yeah, let go of Julius Randle, he's balling, he's averaging 20 points. He's averaging basically a double-double, having his career uh, numbers. Now he's gonna trade Ingram away. He's they balling are? right now. Well, I don't know, but anything can happen, you know? Because at the end of the day, LeBron is the one who's running the show. And he, he, he's not really trying to, like, how do you say it? But they're not he's not trying to waste his years, because he only got like, a cool four years left in him. And they're not seeing the bigger picture where LeBron's gonna leave. Yeah. They're and then we're gonna start be stuck. over again like when Kobe left. Yeah, another he's done. I think personally what I'll do, I stick with his young core. 
keep Nanda, keep Ingram. I think next year they just go after someone. And that's it, like, whatever you get, you get, you know, if you don't, no one wants to come, then we're still out of here in the car at the end of the day. I'm not gonna give up the whole team for Anthony Davis and LeBron, you know, then LeBron's gonna leave and it's gonna be Anthony Davis, like, basically how he is right now with the Pelicans, just himself. So I, I don't think it's worth it. I think I'd rather just wait it out, let these guys develop. Because I already see Ingram balling out. Kuzma at the other side, I think he's, I tell you, he's, he's a good player, but he has a lot of flaws in his game that he needs to that he needs to grow into. Like his defense sucks. Like he's real, like he's real high set clumsy in the defensive end. Like he's like, I'm pretty sure you guys see him getting crossed over a lot. He's like too slow. But I think that's like one of his biggest flaws that he has to work on in his handling because he tries to do what Ingram does, like take people down. <clears throat> but like, like he tries to ISO basically, but he can't because he doesn't have the handles, you know? So that, that'll help his game out. But hopefully they can make the playoffs and I hope they make it to the 17 because they play the AC, they can get swept by the Warriors. We'll see what happens. Uh, that's enough for, back <laughs> for you guys. Cause Yeah, I don't really watch. I watch Lakers once in a while with him, but I'm not like I used to watch them more often, like years ago with my dad. But hey, you guys, I'll be on sports I'm, all day. I literally dreams about sports. Yeah. Does everything about sports. <laughs> I literally, I go, like right before I sleep, I go on Twitter and I just search Laker news, Laker rumors, Dallas Cowboys rumors, Dodge rumors. And I don't like uh, the fact that we traded Tweed and we still didn't get nobody, you know? Bryce Harper could have came, but he was being really one of money. But yeah, anyway, I, before bed, when I wake up, I go to Twitter and I check a bunch of new stuff. About oh, sports. he's in the restroom, everything. At school, he's thinking about sports instead of being in school. I know. <laughs> Did you guys just see when I was in class the day of the tread deadline? I already had a whole plot on my notebook. All right, who's gonna be the point guard? Who's gonna be a coming off the bench? What would happen if we trade Lonzo? What happens if we trade this player? How the team is gonna be and everything? I was like basically like a GM in my mind. <laughs> my whole notebook, I had like a whole page for it. I actually thought about being a journalist though. Like for sports, like it's a cool job, but, but like, you gotta be quick, like typing, okay. grammar, and all that shit. But it's cool. You guys that are waiting for our merch, uh, it has been a delay because the person who actually prints our stuff, like our like our logo and everything. <clears throat> And now he's having, like right now, he has, well he's our uncle basically, so he gives us like a good discount and everything. He gives us a good price. And right now, he's actually, um, his wife is in labor. I think he just had his kid. Oh really? Yeah. Watch, hold on. Mom, Eddie had his kid already, huh? Huh? Eddie? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he just had his baby, so right now we're on a delay because he took time off work. So I texted him and he said that he, once he gets back, working again, I think either next week or the week after. He's gonna start working on our stuff uh, first. But other than that, we would've had it already. But that was the only delay. But we're gonna have a, uh, you know, some good stuff coming out. We had like, three designs, I think, three new ones. That you guys should, you know, stay tuned for that. Uh, follow us on Slums Apparel on Instagram. We have an Instagram account. We're gonna have all our stuff there. And I'm pretty much a website. We're gonna have a website set up again, updated it, have all our prices and everything on there. All right, you guys. So we have like a little funny story we want to tell you guys. It's funny, pretty funny. It happened like probably was it this year or the end of last year, in December. In December. So it was last year. Like after the holidays. Huh? It was after the holidays. Uh, my cousin. I have two cousins that live out in Palmdale. They came over. Oh, one of one of them is actually going to school in um, Oregon. But she comes always on like winter break, summer breaks, and stuff like that. But she was out here, and her birthday is actually on December. 
and I think she just turned 21 on. Mm -hmm. So it was a train for the birthday, whatever. And I don't think she's gone like to a bar or stuff like that. So we went to this place where it's like a bar and grill, they serve food. We went to that spot because my car was telling me they got good deals on drinks, the food, appetizer, and everything good. So we got there, the drinks were big. I'm talking about like. Cantina. Cantina. I like Catalina. But yeah, the drinks right there, they had like some slushy and some margaritas, like this big one. Mm -hmm. And I think those are like what, 14 bucks? I think, you know, like 20, I think. 20, but they're big, and I think she said there's like four shots in there, four or five. And I know some of them got those. I ended up getting, because she said everything was two for one. Like mixed drinks were two for one, shots were two for one. And we were just, you know, having a good time and everything. <clears throat> and then um, there was a dude, remember that dude that was in front of us, just dancing? Mm -hmm. All weird. There was a guy that did like, just dancing. Like it was like, <clears throat> It was like on the Tuesday. No, it was like. Um, and it wasn't. Really, it was on a Wednesday, and it's not yeah. like a a bar bar. I felt like it was more like a restaurant. Yeah, a restaurant. But just have good drinks and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, there was a guy, and he was like hella dancing, like right there. He was like with a girl, right? Mm -hmm. He was like getting into it, you know. But it was only him dancing. The girl was kind of yeah, just, like she would just stand up, like she wasn't like really dancing. And like and then right there, so we kept getting food, drinks, and everything. They, they can't give me this, like a lot of free stuff on mm -hmm. Remember we go order shots and then they would add like two more free ones all the time. And then my brother got, my brother was supposed to be the driver mm -hmm. and he got, he was gone. And then I remember we had like an incident too that day. <laughs> Cause on top of that, my friend, he lives in Oklahoma now. He comes out like every seven months to LA to visit his mom, I guess. And he, and I, that was my first time seeing him. That since he had came back, he's been gone for like maybe you know, almost a year already. He came visiting and we brought him, and I invited him with us. <clears throat> and um, there was like an incident that my brother was gone. He was like, "Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Somebody took my phone." But the thing is, because it was me, him, Alexis, and I think her boyfriend. We all went like to the back because the Russian was in the back, so we were there waiting. And I remember, I think Andy he was like, "Oh." I left my phone, I'm gonna go get it. Yeah. And then he left to the back and then I went inside the restroom and then that's when you guys were already there. So, we can continue the story. Yeah, he was looking for his phone. And uh, I don't have my phone. And then, I think my other cousin was in the back. He was like, nah, I don't have it either. He like, I know you give it to someone. And for some reason, they were in the restroom, so I went over to the front to go to the restroom, not the back. And I asked them, we don't have his phone. And they're like, no, we don't have it. And it was this guy just like laughing, like right next to us, you know? He was like laughing. And I was like, why are you laughing? Like, what the fuck? Like, you gotta eat. <laughs> and then I guess he started tripping out. And then they thing, you know, I started pushing him. And they started going crazy. <laughs> and then my brother was like, I was done in the restroom. And then my friend Frank, he was like, he got those slushies. I think he got two of those, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he got two of those, and then he was drinking beer, shots, all that, and he got messed up, and he wanted to like really fight him. And then everyone was blaming him that he had the phone number. <laughs> they did. Yeah, they told him why you got this phone and this and that, and they were blaming him that, and then he too. They, someone convinced him that it was him that, that got the phone, because then they kept saying, "Oh yeah, because then that hate fucking stealers, people that rob. Like, why you got to rob? Because you guys are broke. What the fuck?" Oh yeah, they thought like the guy that that smirked or yeah. laughed when Anthony said like, "Oh, like where's the phone?" Everyone thought that he had the phone when he had like literally like nothing to do with our problem. I know. And they thought like <laughs> a big ass thing. Like everyone was drunk at dinner. Mm -hmm. Like all like all the girls like it was it was three of us. So it was me, it was Destiny and Alexis. We we're all like trying to get the guys out because they were the ones that were like. A little messed up and like we're like pushing them like no you know like just let's go like who cares let's leave like we don't we didn't want to cause a scene yeah and, and i think we did get kicked out <laughs> after that i think they escorted those guys out the back way we came into the front we came out to the front and you know they're still going crazy I'm like where's the phone at where's the phone at and i think my cousin ended up having it he's right here and we got tripping and we were like, what the fuck? Why like, you saying that thing? Like this whole time they were trying to fight this dude that had <laughs> nothing to do with it. 
And she had the phone the whole time. All time. time. And she didn't even say anything. And it was oh funny goodness. though. It was so funny. Like and at that moment, it was yeah. just like we started. I think we all just started like cracking up, like ready. Yeah. Like what the hell? And then. The funny part too is like they were still going crazy at the, because this was before we found out that she had the phone. Everyone was still going crazy. All the guys like, what the hell? We're like, where they go? Where they go? And then some random guy comes out of nowhere. Remember? Oh yeah. Some random guy comes out of nowhere. He's like, turning to one of my friend friends, the one that came from Oklahoma. And I go to him and I'm like, who's this guy? And he's like, what the fuck? And then he got mad. And no, and that guy was, oh no, no. He goes, I'm just like walking. I live around here. And I seen like all the commotion he was like and I just wanted to be nosy and see what was going on. And then I was like, oh, all right. And then he goes, yeah, but I forgot what he, I don't know, he was just a random dude and he was there with us for a long time. Mm -hmm. The whole time until we left, he was there. And then that's when they pulled out the, and she had the phone and that. And then they took an Uber. <clears throat> Cause my cousin, you know, I tell you they're from Palmdale. They got a hotel in downtown. So they stayed the night at a hotel and they got an Uber over there. And then I ended up driving home. And then um, I think Alex's boyfriend threw up in the Uber uh -huh. on the way over there, on the way back to the hotel. He threw up on the Uber. And um, I think like the bill came out to like a hundred and something. Yeah, it was expensive. Like, so uh, if you're ever drunk, can you take an Uber, take a plastic bag, do not go up <laughs> inside the Uber. Yeah, you're gonna get fined. You're gonna get fined. Well, and then we had like a group chat, huh? Oh yeah, that was the funniest part. Had a group chat. Show you guys. We were just commenting you know, about what happened and until the next day. We all talked about the whole night, like what happened, and everybody was laughing in the group chat. And <laughs> she screenshots us the fine of the Uber, huh? Mm -hmm. She still tipped them. Remember? Yeah, oh yeah. She still tipped them. I'm like, why are you still on tip them? <laughs> oh my god. She was all oh, I don't know. I'm like, hell no, and I have tipped them. Like it doesn't even cost a hundred something dollars to clean up if they eat, they were like a throw, uh, like to clean your seats or whatever. Probably does, I don't know. It probably does. I don't know. I feel like we need to go out again. Yeah. So you guys are watching this, let's do a part two. So no Destiny, fights. Alexis. <laughs> no fights. No, no drama. The drama stays on. That's on you, because you were the one trying to start a fight. You stay home. Yeah, I'll be home. Just kidding. But yeah, just end of the video. This is Mug Bang, whatever you call it. But if you guys want to see another video like this, just, you know. just let us know. Mm -hmm. And shout out to the new subscribers that we got. Yeah, shout out to you guys. Oh, like what, like five subscribers? Yeah, from the last video, I think. Mm -hmm. So this is our new shout outs for, for this video. Uh, shout out to um, Ruby uh, Aguirre, shout out to Angel Gutierrez, shout out to um, Rosario Felix, and shout out to Nigel Baker for coming on our videos. If you guys want to shout out, make sure to comment on this video. we we'll shout you guys out in the next video. And we always know who always comments on our videos. And it's like a, also like a plus too, you know, when we do like giveaways or stuff like that. Like we never forget who comments on our videos. But... Other than that, A&J production right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And peace out.